So here I have my two data sets. Now these are actually the weights of leaves from two separate trees. The original recordings were in grams and these results have been converted to milligrams. And notice that both sets of measurements have four significant figures, so generally the final results will be published with four significant figures. Now first up, I'm going to produce a statistical analysis for each of these columns of data. So for data 1, I'll go in the data tab, right to the end I've loaded the data analysis tool, and we're going to go and get the descriptive statistics. Now this um, tool will require the specification of an input range, and that's just the numbers in my first data set. I'm also going to specify where the final results table will go, and that is done by declaring an output range. To do that, I'm just going to click on the cell that will place the top left corner of the table. I also need summary statistics and also the confidence level at 95% and OK. That gives me the set of results for the first set of data. Just going to edit uh, column 1 in the function field and change that title to data 1. So there's my data 1 results uh, with the mean and also the 95% confidence limits calculated. I'm going to now produce a set of results for the second column of data. So block in for data 2, descriptive statistics. The input range once again will be the column of numbers that I wish to analyse. I'm going to need to declare where I'm going to place the table with the final statistics values, I need summary statistics and the 95 confidence level. That gives me the results for data set 2. Just tidy this up, we'll call this one data 2. So these are all the numbers I need to calculate the 95% confidence intervals for both data sets. Now I'm going to generate the lower and upper confidence limits for the 95% confidence interval on the mean. So I'm just going to label three cells here as lower, the average value and the upper. Now as a calculation the lower limit is simply the, the mean and subtract the amount that's calculated for the confidence interval. The average is easy, that's just equals the mean value. And the upper level is the mean plus the confidence level. And they are the three numbers that we need um, for the 95% confidence interval for data 1. I'm now going to copy these cells across for the second data set. So I've placed it in the same column as before. I go to Paste Special and we're going to copy the formulas across as well. And that will give me the numbers I require for data set 2. Next up I'm going to format both these results to one decimal place and that will give me the same number of significant figures or the same precision as what the original measurements were for each of the two data sets. So here I have it, the 95% confidence interval values for data set 1 and data set 2.